fucking reeks, dude. <laughs> Shit fucking reeks, man. It's like uh, it's like when they did uh, what you call it with one, Shane Dawson. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, right. I'm just in it for the loss. <laughs> or like, uh, I'll come back. Whatever. Fuck. Fuck, um, <laughs> fuck your ass, chaps. <laughs> Or like they did the that fucking like gamer fight thing. You remember that? Uh, oh like yeah, the yeah, yeah. Clash of the Creators. Yeah. That's so fucking cringy, dude. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. How about? It's so cringy. What I did like though was Nathan Barnett whipped the shit out of yeah, Creator Clash. Creator Clash. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Nathan Barnett whipped the shit out of fucking what's his name? Matt. Matt, Matt Watson or whatever. Yeah, Matt Watson. Just kicked the shit. Yeah, him. kicked the shit out of him, dude. That was great. Broke his nose. Is that what happened? <laughs> or you don't I think mess, maybe it was Ryan. You don't mess nose. with dad bot, dude, all right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I like Nathan's uh, his his glove and his trunk set up, too, because it was like pink and blue. Yep. It was like this like really funny color that you would never see in boxing. And yeah, he just came out right from the gate and just whack! Just fucking he's, wrecked him. He's in good fucking shape, dude. For well, especially it's all that dancing. It's that, but like, like he just takes good care of himself too. Like he's just got that fucking hard, chiseled body. The only thing that he couldn't hold on to is his hair. Yeah, but that's okay. He's if, like, if he grows his facial hair out, it's nuts. Yeah, if you've ever seen him grow it out. No, he's got like one of those like old timey. Like humongous cowboy mustaches if he lets it grow out. It's insane, dude. I it's could never wild. I could never grow one of those. I know, I would hate it too, but I'm just saying like that's that's what he's got going on for himself. So it, like the hair came out of his head, it receded back in, it came out of his fucking <laughs> upper lip. <laughs> yeah, I could totally I could grow it, but I would not grow it. I just I can't do mustaches super long. I think it starts bothering my I'm mouth like, and nose. That's how it is with me in my facial hair too. Like I want to like know what the extent is, but I hate it like to you know the feeling of even when it gets like too long. Yeah, because then it gets unkept and like it looks shitty. Like I have to trim it up. Like it just annoys me that it like when it doesn't get that. Yeah, way. you basically got to go through the awkward. You have to, yeah. To get to the not not terrible looking side, yeah, yeah, you kind of have to let it, you know, run its course. But it's like, yeah, I just before I ever get to that point, I'm like, I just don't like how long it is because it, it look like a, a bum. You know? Yeah. So I don't know, maybe one day, but I it's not this day. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's uh that's Nathan Barnett's whole deal is like. He, yeah, he, he's bald on top, but he can get some pretty gnarly facial hair if he wants to. Yeah. And even, like, I've seen him, too, with, like, a really thick, full beard and stuff, too. But, yeah. No, he, like, <laughs> anybody who would have watched that, like, um, creator clash and, like, saw that matchup, like, I would always put my money on Nathan Barnett just because it's, like, that he, he's got so much energy, especially for somebody... Like his age, like he's not like I think he's in his forties. Yeah, I think he's well, not not the forties old, but like no. you know to still go at that rate, like that's really impressive, you know. And I just I think he's a super creative and funny guy, and I don't think he gets enough credit for the shit that he does because he's made a couple short films and they're really good and well thought out and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just that uh, you know he's just he's small and he hasn't. Been yeah. able to grab, grab attention. Yeah. He's been and he's been in and done a whole lot of things too. Yeah, he was in. Um, I was watching. Uh, it's always sunny. He was in a, in an episode of It's Always Sunny. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't gotten him more on there after they got him in the one. He, like his role was very small, though. Yeah, I felt kind of bad for him because it's like, in comparison to the other people that he was like co-starring with, like he would have been more interesting in the scene. Yeah, or like on the show, I guess you know. Maybe there was conflict with schedules or something. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, like, you, you know how those guys... Like, they want somebody... Like, th- he... Like, the the other people in the scene were all kind of, like, straight people. Yeah. So I think it would he would be better if it wasn't... If he wasn't playing a straight man. Yes. You know? Yeah, if he was kind of, like, with the gang. Yeah. Being more odd. Yeah. Oh, there's a reserve. Like, even if they did, like, a one-off episode and it was, like, a Country Mac type of thing or something, you know? Yeah. But I, I don't know if they'll ever do that. 
again, Mary Jane. Oh, it's Pierre. Is that his name? Yeah, Pierre. Yeah, it's the Rusty Peter equivalent in this dimension. Oh, I think I think Mr. Zircon's all Zen or something in this one, in this dimension. I find it funny that they kind of brought back some of the pirate stuff in this game because it's like that was established a while ago. Yeah. And they had their own fucking game. Yeah, Zircon's like a Zerky is his name here. But he's a, like a, he's like, he's like fucking Rick Rubin. <laughs> or he's into yoga and shit. <laughs> I like that they include the, uh, the arena again in this game. Um, I wouldn't have minded if they kind of, I want them to go back to how it was in like the earlier games where it's like they give you a whole bunch of other challenges after the fact. Mm-hmm. They kind of do in this game. I shouldn't say that they don't do it, but it's just kind of like, I don't know. I think it'd be more fun if they had it a different way. Oh, you can give her different... So you can give her... Oops. You can give her different stuff, but like for the longest time, I didn't because... Uh, you just like her design. I like her design. And I don't want... Like, that looks stupid to me. I like seeing her hair tuft because otherwise you get rid of it. And I, I like her scarf. I don't like the smell of her feet, so I, <laughs> I don't like the feet pics. <laughs> I like I like that you can see like the stitching on it too. I think that's cool. Um, so I don't know. I I generally just leave her. Alone. I generally left her alone. What is it? The texture on her tail change. That's weird. Oh yeah, it becomes softer. Yeah. Interesting. Some of these get like covered up. That's the only thing is like some of these other ones give you benefits for stuff, but like I don't really, I, I don't know. I just liked her design too much to change it. Like Ratchet, I don't care because like we've seen him for yeah seventeen games already. Like I don't really give a fuck. But Rivet, I don't know. I just think her design is so good that I don't really want to cover her up with other stuff. Oh, I was going to ask you a question. It better not be about King Crab. I'm going to be pissed. No, no, no King Crab. <laughs> I'll think of a King Crab one later. Okay. But... <laughs> oh, also, I'm going to need my quota. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dra Dra Dragon's Dogma. So check this weapon out. It's called the Ricochet. It's got, like, ping, uh, pinball sounds. Ping. It's pretty cool. So, like, it, it re ricochets off. When it lights up, you click the button again to like get it to go back to them. Oh, it's nice. pretty. It's pretty cool. And I, I thought that was a pretty unique weapon. Hmm. I was going to ask you something. It'll, it'll come to you. Yeah. So I've been watching Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah. And Fred. Uh, the Durst. Fred Armiston. Oh, well, I like Fred Armiston. That's that's the one from Portlandia, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So he he's in the show, uh, just as a bit character. Can you guess what kind of bit character he is? Is he like a, a punk rocker? Nope. Is he a bookstore salesman? Nope. Is he a hipster? No. A barista? Nope. I don't know. He is. He could be literally any. He, he could be literally anything. <laughs> he is a quiet foreign man <laughs> who says next to nothing. Next to nothing with poor English. <laughs> you know his classic character. <laughs> you know what I what I found um, or what I looked up recently because there was one skit that I, I always try to find but I can never I can never find it um, before uh, Fred and Carrie did. Um, uh, Portlandia, they had a like an online sketch comedy thing, um, kind of in the same style, but it was called um, Thunder Ant. Okay, is what the, is what they went under, and they had this um, they had this one video. I, I wanted to try and find it. I can never find it. They go to a store and then they like if they find out that it's closed and they get really mad and just the way they react is really funny. But, oh yeah, I remember um, you showing me this kid yeah. where then she's just like <laughs> yeah, she's, she's like, just randomly scared. And then he's like, this is fucking. Bullshit! Like none of the rest of the skit had like swearing in it, and then yeah, all of a just, sudden they're just dropping like f bombs left and right and stuff like that. But I can't, I cannot find it. I don't. Maybe it's just like 
labeled as something other than what I remember it being called. But anyway, yeah. there's this other one where Fred's putting on like a, a one man show at like a local theater or something like that. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he only invites Carrie. She's the only person that he invites. <laughs> so she goes to this fucking thing and it's just like, it's just her and the audience. And he comes out and it's like, uh, it's, he's got a bunch of different hats laying on the stage and like every time he puts on a different hat, it's like a different person that he's like met. Okay, so yeah, there's a like a character. yeah. So there's like a like a construction worker guy and like you know um, college age girl who wants to party. There's like old blues black man from the south and stuff like that. <laughs> and like you know I don't know. It's supposed to be like a commentary on like you know it's like a like one of the most like pretentious like hipstery kind of like. You know things that you can imagine. Where yeah. It's like you know very artsy, fartsy, avant-garde bullshit. And like Carrie's just sitting in the audience watching this whole thing, and then like she goes out and then gets some snacks and comes back. And it, it, it's just like it's just funny because it's like they're so self-aware about how that kind of shit like happens. Where like you know somebody writes like a a one-man stage play and thinks that it's like the best thing ever, and yeah. it's like really pretentious and stupid. And it's like you know, <laughs> and then after the show he comes out and he's like, "Oh, you came," and then. She's and then he's like, "How did you like it?" And she's like, "It was an hour and a half long." And he's like, "Oh, thanks." <laughs> that's a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I just that's what it makes me think of sometimes. It's like just some of those like I don't know older skits that they used to do. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, he's he's shown up a couple of times as uh, Menenos or something like that. Oh, yes. And. Uh, yeah, he, he just... Plays you know, a nondescript foreign man. Yeah, he plays nondescript foreign man in a... In a fucking... He's done that plenty of times before, I think. Uh, <laughs> like a, a sweater. And he just says... Very nice, you know, like... Nice meat. <laughs> and then, you know, they're like asking him questions and shit. But he's just like... Yeah, have you seen this person... And he takes the thing, he goes, no. Nice. And then he just, like, <laughs> he takes the picture with him and closes the door. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's a per that's a good Fred Armisen role. <laughs> and you know who else is in the fucking show? Who's that? The one guy who does those commercials for, like, um... Allstate? <sighs> The one, maybe it's Allstate. It was, it's insurance, but it's the guy who... J.K. Simmons? No. It's the guy who, um... He's like, oh man, it'd be a sure of a shame if this were to happen in your car. Yeah, that's that's Allstate, but I, yeah, I don't know the, I don't know that guy's name. Yeah, Yeah, that guy? Yeah, Yeah, he's he's in the show, too. That's cool. And I'm like, oh, you're, you actually act. You do other stuff besides the Allstate commercials? Yes. He, he acts like the same kind of character. Oh, yeah. He's a evil chaotic, as they say. Yeah, basically what he does is... Um, I hate that shit, I don't know. <laughs> I think that shit is dumb. He, he, comes, uh, he comes up and he, uh, he takes over cases that are just about to be finished. And he takes all of their uh, credit. All the, all the credit for it, yeah. Fuck off, watch. I will move when I want to move. <laughs> Don't tell me to live my life, watch. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Get well, that's, good. that's good, though, that he's getting some more roles, huh? Yeah. Good I'm like, oh, I was surprised to see him. That's but good. I like him. He makes funny faces. You know who I see... I was telling, talking to Melissa about it, and she's, I mean, I don't know. It it's, depends on how you want to view it, I guess. But I see um, Louis C.K. is kind of making a comeback a little yep. bit. Yes, he is. Which is good. Like He's not like he's him. not getting uh, specials like he used to on like Netflix or anything like that, but yeah, he's still doing why. shit. Yeah. But, you know, he's still doing shit, though. Like, he had, uh, I think I watched, uh, I didn't watch any of his like stuff recently, necessarily, but I saw him on, like, a podcast or something like that, and he just played fucking Madison Square Garden for, like, the eighth time. Yep. It's like yeah. yeah I uh, I actually watched like the first five minutes of his set. Yeah, and uh, the first joke he put is like, uh, "Well, thank you uh, everybody for coming. Um, uh, some of you are probably in trouble for being here. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and uh, 
The other half uh, are here and didn't tell somebody. <laughs> they see, but that's what I'm saying. Like at least he acknowledges it, and like at least like he like acknowledged like what he did and everything. Yeah. Which is not what a lot of other people can say for like some of that shit. Like, and on he, his scale of crimes, really not that bad. Not not that bad. Like, is it great? No, no absolutely not, great. not. But like, still like. Comparatively to like I don't know somebody like Kevin Spacey or something or Harvey Weinstein or something yeah. like yeah Harvey Weinstein just got 15 years in prison yeah uh huh and they've released uh, uh, Epstein's uh, reports on all the people who went to the yeah farm. that that shit's fucked I haven't looked at that but that whole scenario is fucked up <laughs> yeah a lot of people yeah but that's what I but that's what I'm saying like I don't know like I'm not saying that like you know. You gotta forget about what Louis C.K. did. It's just a matter of like you know, hey, he took responsibility for his actions. Yeah, and proportional. And like, pro- and like, like you know, pain that, and suffering he has caused. Yeah, in his acts. Yeah, and I feel like I hopefully he's like you know made changes in his own life to like be better. You know, yeah. so like I don't know. I go see him live. I wanted to, but trying to get tickets is fucking hard. Yeah. Hi. It's a Skype date, dude. I'm all pink and purple. I think we have to build a new one. I met a prophet from Savali named Gary. I was like, uh, I was like, you know, real long title names, and then the person's just Gary or Steve. <laughs> yeah, right. That always that that kind of joke always tickles my fancy. <laughs> yeah, like for having such an exotic title, you're just Gary. Yeah, it's just. Ooh, I like that shot. Did you see that shot? Yeah, I saw that shot. That was good. I hope she's hot. <laughs> I hope she's not a fanny. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine they meet and then he, he's like, "You're a little thicker than I thought you looked," and then she's like, "Yeah," and then he's like, "And you're right. a little shorter than I thought." All you were. right, bye. <laughs> it's like, geez, you're gonna be that picky. It's the first time you've ever met another lombax, and you're gonna be like, "Man, you really let yourself go." <laughs> I just um, your your profile picture. Like, yeah, uh, I, I saw you. Uh, you took it from above, and you know, I thought you looked. You just looked a little bit different than what you do right now. <laughs> what are you saying? Well, you know, there was one less chin in it. <laughs> See, that's what I, that's what I think would be funny. Like get like a, a fat chubby lombax in there somewhere. And just have yeah. Ratchet be, like, super no, shallow. No, no, so what I want... No, like, well, yeah, that would be funny. But I'm talking about, like, actual, like, if they were to make another Ratchet game and kind of, like, um, like expand upon, like, you know, the story that this one has kind of developed. Like, use the Dimensionator and go to, like, an all Lombax dimension. And then there's just, like, a fat chubby one that, like, he's, like, the gun vendor or something like that. Who's calling you? Other Taylor. Well, she can wait. Yeah. Oh, I can only use the enforcer. Wow. I just think it'd be interesting, like, or fun, if if they were ever afforded the opportunity to um, make, like, different Lombax characters. That's all, you know? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be, uh, like, a split in time. Well, like, even if they did something like... Time um, splitters split in time. <laughs> yeah. But all Lombaxes. What the fuck even hit me just there? Um, or even if, like, they did, like... Because, uh, like, I forget that, like, you know, some of the older games, like Deadlocked and Up Your Arsenal, had online modes. Mm-hmm. Actually, some of the other ones did, too. I think um, Full Frontal Assault had an online mode and whatever. Like, you could just make it so, like, you could customize, like, your online character or whatever to, like, have different shit. I don't know. 
So then you just make yourself a nice rotund. Yeah, I just think it'd be funny to see like a fat ass <laughs> fucking lombax for some reason. <laughs> hey guys, I'm fine. I'm just fat. Or like you know they do like a like a crew type thing where like you know you've got a crew of of characters and then like they're one's the know, fat. Yeah, one's the fat one. And he'd probably be the demolitions expert or something. Oh like yeah, that, always. You know? It's just, demolitions yeah. and or the cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I like I'm not saying that they have to do that. I'm not saying that like that's what it, it yeah, should be. Just be, be a fun thing. I think it'd be fun, like, just to like have a ratchet experience where maybe like, yeah, they're going across dimensions, but then they're like, you know, um like finding these other lombacks as to like assemble a crew to like fight some kind of common enemy or something like that. The common enemy. Is gingivitis. <laughs> It'd be like, you know, like in Sly Cooper, they kind of did that throughout a couple of the games where you're like assembling a crew of characters to like, you know, help with this big heist at the end or whatever. And yeah. it's like, you know, you kind of find all these different characters that different have, have different like abilities and stuff. I just think that'd be fun. This one shoots green water at people. This one shoots red water at people. The red water is blood. The green water is antifreeze. That's it. That's really unimaginative. <laughs> <laughs> one so of them they just shoot water. It's just a water gun fight. <laughs> one of them just you know it's kind of gross. They they might have like a, a sexual or sorry a blood transmitted disease. Yeah. The other one, if it gets in your mouth, well, you could you know too much of it gets in your mouth, you'll probably die. <laughs> the least interesting fucking ideas that they could have. <laughs> Just but, but to imagine that like that idea gets through so much QA <laughs> and, and, like, and like testing in. and like producers are like, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> For them to develop this fucking game around like these ideas that are so bad. <laughs> Just like like like, like, like an idea that would just get tossed immediately upon like a group of people hearing it. <laughs> yeah, most people would just be like, "That's kind of dumb." Man. That's kind of like what? That doesn't even make any sense. Like this is like a sci-fi shooter game. Like what are you talking about shooting red and green water? Like what? It's like, you know, you know, this is like a Charlie Kelly pitch. You know, like there's fucking you know, like he's got the red water. <laughs> Which is blood, yeah. and like you know, they could die from getting a disease or whatever, or the, the antifreeze. Like if it gets in their eyes, like it would hurt. Yeah, it, it would hurt, or if they drank too much of it. Like and then, and then Max, like, oh yeah, and then there's the guy that shoots sand at people. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sand? Just like beach sand. Yeah, just normal beach sand. Does it have rocks or like shells in it? No, just just no, sand. just like really fine sand. But it comes out like really fast. Yeah, so like. And it gets everywhere in its course. <laughs> it's, re it's really just irritating. And yeah, and it gets everywhere. It might get in their eyes. <laughs> and then they can't see. And if they rub their eyes, they go blind. It's like pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> what does she want? She's showing me. Um, Here's, my, Here's my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> She's showing me Starbucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, I don't know. You've had quite a few people that are making sexual advances upon you at work, and I just, I don't know. In she, time, Taylor. In she's time. <laughs> she's <laughs> let her. <laughs> she's aiming up. Yeah. <laughs> let her. Uh, let her get into into it. You know, this yeah. is the this is the middle of the day. Who's showing their tits at the middle of the day? I don't know. Somebody would. Just because it's the middle of the day here doesn't mean it's the middle of the day everywhere. Well, I mean... I feel like that happened one time when we were hanging out. Like, I mean, this is, like, before, like, Tobin was uh, married and all that. But, like, I remember, I remember, I feel like there was one time we were hanging out with Tobin. And some girl just sent him a nude for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just yeah. like, all right. Like, what? <laughs> cool. <laughs> like, thank you, I guess. <laughs> As long as it's not my goddamn sister. No, I think I think he was with Tabitha. I think at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, he was with Tabitha at the time. Long time ago. Yeah. Back in nineteen ninety nine, when we were all seven. 
1999 and like going into 2000. That was a that was a pretty exciting time. Not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. We had such high hopes because the 90s were so radical. Yeah. And then the 2000s got real emo and we've never come back. <laughs> it's been nothing but downhill. <laughs> For the past 23 years, it's been nothing but downhill. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say it's been nothing but downhill. It's definitely on a, on a decline. It's, I, would say, no, I would say it has been nothing but downhill, but probably after 2015. Oh, yeah? Because 2016... Is when everyone was saying they were going to eat Tide Pods, oh, and yeah. after that, it, everything kind of went downhill. Yeah. Well, that's that. That's a new generation doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, like that every generation was our generation, was just say, the early versions. I was of just us. Gonna, yeah, no, I oh, I know, but like I was just going to say, like much like every generation has ever said, we're the last good generation. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I was talking to her because she's a she's a Z-er, uh-huh. and she's yeah. like, "Yeah, I'm I'm one of the good Z's though. We're the we're like the early stage of the Z, not uh, not these new ones that are just terrible." Because she doesn't do any of the uh, the, the the Fortnite dancing the, or uh, the dumb TikTok shit. Yeah, I mean, she has a TikTok, but I don't know if she actually like. Well, just because you have Watches a TikTok, or I don't know. Yeah, stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm like, because when she told me how old she was, I'm like, oh, sweet, full, full send, uh, no cap. <laughs> and she just looked at me like full really send, no fucking cap pissed. AF, dog. Yeah, she, <laughs> she just looked at me really fucking pissed off. She was like, you sound like my younger brother. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to find common ground between you and I. <laughs> yeah. I'm a 30 year old who acts like a 40 year old. Like, come on. I got my moments. Sometimes I act like I'm 27. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I, I feel <laughs> no, I feel that way too. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, most of the time I'm just like <sighs> grouchy. Yeah, I know. Well, when the youngins come out and start <laughs> saying all these things, I'll be like, shut up. I've been alive too long <laughs> to deal with your bullshit, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing of like, oh, we're millennials, but we're the good version of the millennials. Well, I know. Well, that's the thing. Like, everybody likes to think that, too, though. It's like, I don't know. Like, except for the baby, just... baby boomers. They all know that they're all pieces of shit. Yeah, right? you're right. You're absolutely right there. Um, but that's, but that's the thing is like, I don't know, like I, I, there is like, it's much like a lot of other issues or like a lot of other like demographics that you find in the world where it's like, there's a set of them that are like very vocal and like out there for you to see. And then there are the rest of them who are just normal fucking people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, yeah, we're millennials, but like, I don't know. I like to think that I, you know, don't fall into like the typical sort of archetype of what people think a millennial looks like, you know, where, you know, I don't know, where we want to get paid a decent wage and live a life that's just fucking, like, okay, Yeah, (laughs) you know, without being stressed out by work and other external factors that we didn't, like, don't have the tolerance for. (laughs) It's like, oh, I don't know, sweet, I have to deal with a whole bunch of bullshit now. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, like... Like, past generations just dealt with that stuff, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, necessarily. But it's like, you know, we, like, at least, you know, people of our kind of age range and whatever have decided, like, no, I don't want to have to put up with that shit. There's a way to work around it. So, I don't know. It was... But if, she, if she's a good Gen Zer, then that's fine. I'm sure they exist. We'll see, though. I don't know her well you enough get, to... Gotta, uh, yeah, she's got to put in her time there. Yeah. She basically is taking my old job. Oh. Is, at least that's what she's working towards. Because oh. uh, I've been looking for people who want to learn the robots before I actually went to first shift. Because I'm like, well, I should... At least be looking for a replacement for myself. Yeah, right. When I finally do leave. <gasps> but I'm already on first ship. But I'm still going to be uh, pushing. We need to find a fucking replacement for the girl at my work. She's, she's been saying that since she got fucking hired. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she was a team leader. 
she's stepping down from that role. And now she's going to be an LVP. And then when she learns that, she's going to come on to day shift and work with me and the other guys oh. to learn about the robotics. The robots. Mm -hmm. The robots. Oops, actually. Maybe close your legs, bro. <laughs> How do, um, I wonder how, like, a world where, where robots, like, are, like, the main race, like, how do those robots, like, reproduce? Like, obviously, they're being manufactured, but, like, I just mean, like, the context around that, you know what I mean? Like, how does that work? Well, they mine the minerals, and then they... No, but I mean, like, but I mean, like, you know, the societal, like, you know, like, in normal human world, we... we do our do, and then you know, we birth a baby in a hospital, and that per yeah. then now it's a person. So like, like I'm thinking of like a Futurama esque way in which robots would do that. Like, do they like intermingle their code together? Do they submit chips to like the manufacturing plant with their code in them, and then they merge them? Uh, I mean, if you want to be like fantastical, yeah, probably. I don't see. I don't know. Like that's that's weird. This game needs some deep lore, okay? <laughs> start start need, writing I need, books. I need, I need some fucking deep lore. I need... <laughs> mangas, I need... Side games, I need... Miniseries on HBO. <laughs> Several movies... Written by J.K. Rowling. <laughs> oh, God. For no fucking reason. <laughs> you know what manga I actually just got done reading? <laughs> um, Here, poop hole. It was called uh, The Girl Who Sees. Uh, okay. Um, it was actually a very interesting read. Uh, there's also an anime for the first 21, 22 chapters of the, the manga. Manga. And... Uh, yeah, so basically, you're you're watching this girl. Oh. She's you know in high school because Japan. Yeah, that's kind of what they do. That is a hundred percent what they do. And I like that white one. That's cool. The white one is cool. I just don't. I don't really like the purple. I like the pink one. Like it's funny, but yeah, I kind of want to look cool. I like the orange pants on them. One. Matches his face. The orange pants. This one? Which one? Left. Yeah. I don't think that fits the rest of it. Though. No, it doesn't. How about the uh, four over on the bottom? This one? Four over on the bottom. Yeah. Lighter. I don't know. It's like a yellow and a purple. That's a weird color scheme. I like the white. I'm going to go with the white. Okay. Um... But yeah, so she's, you know, doing her stuff, and she forgets a uh, thing at school. Uh -huh. And she goes back in, and, like, she, something rushes behind her. Yeah. And she's not thinking anything of it. She goes over to the bus stop, and it's raining. Uh -huh. And she's just standing there looking at her phone. And then there's, uh, there's this, this ghost. That pops out, and it's like this gigantic man. His guts are hanging out, and he's looking straight at her face and starts speaking to her, uh -huh. saying, Do you see me? Do you see me? Over and over and over. And then she's just standing there looking at her phone, and he walks away, and it's like, She can't see. And then uh, it cuts back to her, and she's like, What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. So basically, the girl can now see spirits and how they're pretty much everywhere. Yeah, right. And many of them are evil spirits. Some of them are not. And uh, they will ignore you if they think you can't see them or respond to them or anything like that. So then she's constantly having to like deal with her daily life. Just while ignoring them. While ignoring these spirits that are huh. becoming more and more 
like around her because it right. turns out her friend is like a fucking a beacon to them. Interesting. And uh, yeah, so it goes into it, and then she's like, she's learning to kind of control and being able to like potentially exercise the ghosts. Right, right, right. By um, going and finding this one uh, lady fortune teller mm -hmm. who can also see them, but not as well as her. Oh, it's like the Death Stranding. Yeah, where you can like, there's different levels of how you can see them. <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, yeah, because, so, like, to the girl, they're, like, hazy mists, but she can tell, like, right. the rough picture. Well, right, for right. the girl, it's basically... A like clear cut. Yeah, clear cut. This is... That would this be a person if it weren't right, right, right. a ghost. That's interesting. And so then, then, like, is, like, the plot, like, what's, like, kind of the driving force behind the plot that is, like, she just, like, does she befriend one of them or something? No. So... The driving force is that she's trying to protect her friend. Oh, okay. Because they, ghosts, if they hang around you, um, and, like, start haunting you, they will sap your energy. Oh, okay. And her friend has this aura that ghosts are attracted to. Oh. Uh. So she's trying to make it so <laughs> her friend doesn't know. Sounds like, uh, it sounds like life is strange, but with ghosts. Yeah. Because that's basically what happens in that, is like you're just trying to make Chloe not die throughout the whole fucking thing. Oh. Yeah, it's basically like that. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, it was really good, and she, like, yeah. she goes to the shrine, and she prays at it, and then, like, some golden ghosts come out and start killing ghosts around her whenever there's a problem. But only three times, and then you had to pay them. Normally with your life. And then she, she got out of it by someone else sacrificing themselves. Interesting. For her. Sounds like an a, a interesting amalgamation of a couple of different things. Yeah. Or like it kind of reminds me of a couple of different things anyway. So. Yeah, I like to see uh, how it goes, but uh, for the most part, they try to make it drama, right? A uh, horror kind of thing. It's cool. Um, have you seen the Ju Juji Itu um, Netflix show? No. Next time on Chin Strap Chaps, you can tell me more about that. Yes. Okay. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Dra I said it earlier. Okay, make I it sure.